I'm going to go ahead and show you the calculations and I'm going to use my car to do this illustration. Uh, my car is a Mercedes-Benz uh, supercharged with an Eaton MP45 uh, supercharger. The engine is an 1800cc engine, four cylinders, and a 6200 RPM redline. The bore doesn't matter for this example, but I think it's 73 millimeter. Compression ratio is 9.3 to 1. In stock form, the engine makes 163 horsepower at 5800 RPMs at 6 pounds of boost. And I'd like to make 163 horsepower. Plan on running one throttle valve, single exhaust setup, and do not plan on running nitrous. The reason I'm using 163 horsepower here, which is the same as my stock horsepower, is I would like to first do an example where we're designing a street header for a basic bolt-on application. This is the kind of thing that you'll find people selling for like um, a factory replacement upgrade. It'll give you a little bit of horsepower improvement, but it's designed around the same horsepower range as stock, 160, 170. It's not designed for anything radically modified and I'll show you what the numbers are for that and then we'll go ahead and do another example with a highly modified version of the same car and I'll show you how those two headers are different and that's the whole point of using the power calculator is you can figure out if the part that you're gonna buy actually matches what you need for your application so you don't want to buy a header that's too big for your car for, uh, or designed for a different target RPM or designed for a different power level and I'm gonna click calculate it's gonna take a few seconds then we go to the results here and let me see where are my manifold dimensions exhaust header dimensions you can see my primary pipe diameter is 1.32 inches and my primary pipe length is 22.25 inches All right, and that's optimized for the input that I said was 6200 RPMs and my collector outlet is about 2 inches so I'm, I have this uh, Google Doc here and uh, let me put these numbers in I'm going to do this in two rounds. So first thing, my primary pipe diameter right here is 1.32 inches. Secondary pipe I haven't calculated let yet. Collector is 2 inches. And then I have a little equation in here to do the subtraction for me. So for 6,500, what is that, 6,500? No, it's 6,200. This should be 6,200. I'm sorry. 6,200 RPMs. The pipe length is 22 and a quarter inches. All right. So that's my primary pipe, length 22 and a quarter inches. Secondary pipe we're going to find out in a minute. Now I'm going to go back in here to my inputs, and I'm going to choose where I want my second boost in volumetric efficiency. Instead of having all of my header uh, scavenging uh, designed for 6200 RPMs, I'm going to look for another peak in torque around 2500. So I'm going to change this number to 2500. Then I'm going to kick click calculate. The results here are going to change. But before I trust these numbers here, I'm going to look and see that my required boost to reach my power goal is 33 psi instead of 6 psi. What's going on here is the power calculator thinks that I'm trying to make 163 horsepower at 2500 RPMs, which isn't true. And so I need to scale down this target horsepower number so that my boost goes back down to 6 psi. And I've done this before. I think this is around 95 horsepower. I'm going to hit cal calculate again. Check back in here. 13 psi. Nope. Lower than that. Maybe around 80 horsepower. It takes a little bit of trial and error. Check back again. 8 pounds. Nope. I know it makes 6 pounds of boost. Let's go back down to 75 horsepower. Click back here. And we'll go 7 psi. Alright, maybe a little more. Right, you see five pounds of boost. Let me up this a little bit. All right, six pounds of boost. So I'm designing the header to peak at 2,500 RPMs, and at around that RPM, it's going to make about 72 horsepower. And uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do. Yep, I'm just going to calculate that the way it is right now. And let's look at the numbers here we find a header primary uh, pipe diameter of 0.74 inches we're not going to use that number, I'm going to use this number here 39.62 inches of length All right. put that number in here, 39.62 inches of length and 
that's going to be the tuned length for 2500 RPMs and now if I subtract 22 which is my primary pipe from 39 which is the total length of the pipe so I'm subtracting 22 which is this distance here from 39 which is the total distance from here down to there I get this intermediate length which is my secondary pipe and that comes out to 17 inches and now to find out my secondary pipe diameter I'm gonna go back into the calculator change this back to 6200 RPMs change this back to 163 and where it says here a single exhaust setup I'm gonna sp split it to a true dual and that's gonna split my exhaust path into two paths which is exactly what I'm doing here look at my results and I get a diameter of 1.4 inches it says here my cutout and mid pipe diameter is 1.4 inches so if I were to take the four cylinders and route them into a dual exhaust or into two identical pipes I would need a 1.4 inch pipe and that's perfect for this number here which is my secondary pipe and so you see the header starts out with a 1.32 inch primary pipe four primary pipes of 22 inches of length feeding into two 1.4 inch secondary pipes of 17 inches of length and then feeding out a 2 inch collector and that's our street header that's designed for 163 horsepower and for two power peaks, one at 6500, one at 6200 RPMs, which is my red line, and one at 2500 RPMs, which is where I need a little more torque for cruising. So that's how you use the power calculator to design a 4 to 1 header. Now, here's the other example that I wanted to show you. I read the, I've already redone these numbers for 230 horsepower as my target. Right here, instead of 163, 230 horsepower and I calculate and I go through the exact same process that I just showed you and if my car were making 13 pounds of boost using uh, one of the overboost kits that are available from from Kleeman or from ASP Racing or from any of those pulley manufacturers then the header that I would need would be slightly different I'd have a slightly larger primary diameter pipe and it would be slightly shorter too and then the secondary pipe would be larger as well because it has two 1.5 inch pipes feeding into it and my collector would have to be larger almost two and a half inches for about 230 to 250 horsepower which is larger than the two inch collector which is designed for 160 horsepower and so um, what you want to look at is if you're looking to buy a header for your car sometimes you'll have the opportunity to buy a header that was designed for a naturally aspirated version of your motor that typically is going to have a smaller collector, a smaller primary pipe, and a smaller secondary pipe. So you have to really make sure that you're buying a header that matches you know, the performance requirements of your car and matches your peak power goals so that you don't choke off your engine at higher RPMs. This kind of header would probably work well on a modified car up to 160 horsepower, which would come earlier in the RPM range, and then it would choke you off again whereas this one will give you room to breathe and give the engine room to form to perform all the way up to its designed parameter which is its designed red line, its designed flow requirements and its designed uh, peak power RPMs or its de designed uh, volumetric efficiency boost RPMs which is 6500 and 2500 all right so that's our illustration for today I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, I hope you guys take advantage of this and make horsepower and make educated decisions about buying the right parts for your car. Thank you for watching and thank you for visiting superchargerperformance.com.